Hey, watch where you're going. What did you call me? No, I'm not talking to you until you apologize. In there. That's better. To Tim and Moby. What's the deal with digital etiquette? From George. Digital etiquette, or netiquette, is a set of rules for how to behave online. Right, it's a lot like real-life etiquette, which is basically a code of conduct for having good manners and treating others with common courtesy and respect. It's just as important in our digital lives, including how we act in online games, or how we communicate in emails and instant messages, in chat rooms, and on message boards, blogs, and social networking sites. Whoa, how are you doing that? Unfortunately, some people can lose control the second they jump online. Well, like when they disagree with someone or have strong feelings about a topic, they end up saying stuff they'd never say in person. They may send rude emails and IMs or try to start arguments on message boards. That's called flaming, and it can lead to full-on flame wars, insulting arguments between two or more users. Believe it or not, some people actually cruise around the Internet looking to start flame wars. We call these troublemakers trolls. <laughs> kind of fitting, huh? Well, I don't think they necessarily become meaner people. Maybe they just forget the rules. On the Internet, it's pretty easy to stay anonymous or unidentified. Having a secret identity to hide behind can make people pretty brave. And when all they see of you is a screen name or a funny icon, they might forget they're dealing with a real human being. Hey, would you stop being such a bully? Well, it's simple. Just like in real life, you should treat other people the way you want to be treated. You wouldn't want somebody to be rude to you, so don't be rude to anyone else. Of course, netiquette isn't just about being nice. It's also about communicating clearly. That means keeping emails and IMs clear and to the point. It also means making your messages easy to read and understand, which can depend on your audience. For instance, some abbreviations and emoticons may be fine with friends, but they're generally not appropriate in formal communication. And whatever you do, don't write in all capital letters. Yeah, on the Internet, writing in all caps makes you seem like you're yelling. Also, keep in mind that humor isn't always obvious in writing. Without seeing facial expressions or hearing someone's voice, it can be hard to tell the difference between a friendly joke and real cruelty. One way to help make sure you're communicating clearly is to reread what you write before you send it. Check your tone, grammar, and spelling to make sure you really mean to say what you've written. Once your message is out, it's out. Lastly, make sure you ask permission before posting anything about your friends on a blog or social networking site. People's personal information is private, and you can really ruin relationships if you post something that a friend or a friend's parents don't want on the web. And keep in mind that the Internet is not a private place. If you wouldn't want a parent, teacher, college admissions director, or future employer to see something you post, don't post it. Um, permission not granted. Hey, you do realize that millions of people are watching us, right? <sighs>